Hey guys, before I do the uh, splatter mitigation shield test, I want, which basically it's going to be permanently mounted onto the thing because you have to mount it as tightly as possible according to Gary, and I have to clamp it and, f and hammer the flange over and all this stuff, and then, then I won't be able to test it with other things without destroying that splatter mitigation shield. So I'm going to put 17 rounds of uh, 9mm uh, jacketed uh, into the plate and uh, let's just see how that goes okay so and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the plate inside a box just so we can see how the rounds are are bouncing off of it and stuff okay so like I did before I'm just gonna set the camera up and you guys can uh, watch me do my thing I'm gonna go over there and put the shield in this this is just a UPS box just to give us some marking be too close to this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This stuff's gonna bounce. You don't wanna be shooting steel right up on it, you know what I mean? It's never a good idea. So I'm gonna shoot from back here. I'm about 30 feet away, I guess. Okay. Let's see how good my marksmanship is today. fire set that thing back up and punish it some more oh yeah we're getting some splatter guys oh holy crap are we getting splatter oh my god I thought they just bounce off now nah, man they splatter like crazy damn pretty scary let's just put it that way if you were wearing that plate and you had your hands or your legs or your face in front of that plate you wouldn't be very pretty okay they wouldn't be uh, they wouldn't be uh, having you doing any hand modeling or uh, you wouldn't be uh, wanting to walk around in the speedo anytime soon can you see what I'm seeing guys here let me just zoom this back so I can get closer without it getting weird Okay, this is without me moving anything. Okay, especially because I'm not at a zero oblique. I'm at about a 20 degree angle by the looks of it. Look what's coming out the sides, man. Where it just ricochets right out the side. Look how it's tearing up the straw. Can you see the straw? The straw bale that it's laying up against? Okay, now the plate, of course, is the survivor. <laughs> The plate's like whatever, okay, but anybody standing near the plate, anybody wearing the plate, has some things to worry about, which would be flaming hot pieces of copper and lead streaming into your flesh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, now, yeah. all I could say about the Ruger SR9 is that it does not shoot anywhere close to where the sights are. I've I've not really been real happy with that. I've tried to adjust them and I don't know. I keep trying to blame myself because I don't want to think the gun sucks. But, you know, 
I'm not a bad shot, guys. And you can see I shot 17 rounds, and, and there's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Looks like maybe 11 shots hit. So six shots went low and right. And I'm aiming center of mass the whole time. Boom, 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 boom. And they're hitting all over the place over here. So I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to try and blame myself again because I really, I really don't want to think my gun sucks that bad. You know, I've, I've been cursed with buying guns that suck. I bought an XD45 that did the same thing, shot low and right. I tried to blame myself, thought it was the ammo, all these things. Then I went and got an XD40 and it shot perfect. So, what do we got? We got out the front, okay? You do see some splatter coming out the front. Unfortunately, the top popped open, so we didn't get quite as good an impression of the splatter, but you can see the splatter coming off. This is the back of the box. So this would be right above your plate. This would be right in your throat area, neck and throat area. And uh, definitely enough to cut your skin up, I don't know if it would be enough to sever an artery and kill you. It didn't rip the box in half like a buzz saw on the non-angle side. Remember, shots are coming in like this. They're ricocheting. And this is where almost all the action is coming. Now this would be the part that's up against your body. So here you are wearing your chest plate. Okay, you're getting shot at an angle. Now your whole left shoulder looks to me like your left shoulder is taking enough slag that you're screwed. I think you, I think that would definitely bleed you out. You're taking multiple shots, even just one shot ricocheting up there could mess you up. Now if you were standing zero oblique, that means the shot coming dead into the target, you know, that would probably be fine. It, would, it probably wouldn't hurt you that bad. But man, once you start taking a ricochet or an angle shot, here's where I was shooting low. You can see I'm punching holes through the cardboard, tearing it to pieces, shooting way low. I was aiming up here, I'm shooting down here. I don't know what to tell you guys. That's why I bought a laser for it so I could see if it was me or the gun. And uh, I'll tell you what, I can't hit anything with the laser either. So. Not exactly deadly with the SR9. So, not good for your abdomen. I mean, obviously, anywhere you get shot with a, a bullet where there's no plate wouldn't be bad, good either. But if you get caught near the edge of the plate, it ricochets down, shot from up high, angling down into your body. I think you'd be one unhappy camper, to say the least. But, as you can see, the plate handles nine like nothing. There's, I don't even think there's any, yeah, there's no deformation. Can you see from the shadows in the sun? Here's the two 308 rounds. And there's all the nine. If you could get an entire suit made out of this material, you'd be all right. right? And a face shield, and a neck shield, and a ball shield. Yeah, okay. But, yes, sir. Excellent, excellent steel. It is what it is though. It is a steel plate with no splatter mitigation. So for my next series of tests, I'm going to test this with splatter mitigation. Now, I'll tell you more about that in the upcoming video. I don't want to keep this going that long. But this is 9. 9 against steel. And what it can do. What the splatter does. Alright guys.